back at it today. Uh, it's been a couple days since I could work on it because I had the flu and then uh, had to go like to my in-laws retirement party. It was just a bunch of stuff over and over and uh, I hadn't worked on the boat in probably two weeks and uh, it's kind of depressing. But anyways, I'm ready to get at it today. I've got a whole half a day and uh, I gotta run some chickens out of the shop. Stop. But today's the day. We're gonna get a bunch of stuff knocked out. Hopefully it'll look like a boat. Might even be ready to flip it over by the afternoon, so, uh, or by the evening. But uh, what you see up there I've got on the bow, uh, I've got a few pieces cut. I hadn't welded them, but I'm gonna weld those in right there. I didn't like not having one that went straight up, but I didn't wanna just put one over it. So uh, we're gonna weld those in, and that'll give us, uh, I think, a little bit more support right where everything's hitting the wave. Of course, it's gonna have a piece of angle all the way down the outside, the bottom side of it too. But uh, we're gonna get those welded on and then we're gonna start working on getting the deck and the seat and that kind of stuff framed up. We're not gonna put the deck on before we put the floor on. That way we'll be able to weld, you know, we won't have to be bending under the deck and stuff like that. We can just work through the framing. So let's get them, uh, let's get them started. So today we're gonna work on getting the decks and the floor cut out. Uh, I'm just gonna measure the front deck, cut it out. You know, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, and then I'll cut the place for the hatch. The floor uh, is, I'm gonna have to measure like the actual size of the floor, but then I'm gonna have to make marks on where my stringers are. And then I'll cut some like three inch slits or something in there. And then that way I can weld the floor down to those stringers and tie everything together. And then, of course, I'll weld it to the side as well where it hits the side. Uh, and then we got to do that back deck. And uh, that's kind of what I've been waiting on to cover the back um, where the step transom comes down because I wanted to be able to weld the back of the floor up nice and easy. Uh, so then I can weld that and then I can put on my, you know, those pieces on the back. So All right, real quick, before we work on these decks, we're going to address this, uh, the bow. And... Basically what I'm gonna do is I got this half pipe right here. You can see half pipe, cause it's half of a pipe. And uh, that's gonna be like my nose, front bumper, whatever. 
Uh, I'm just gonna cut it to fit right here and then I'll make another one on that side. And then when that way, the top of the front will be done and when I flip it over, I'll skin out the bottom side. I might even put like a few braces up under there or something, but I'll skin it out and uh, that'll give me my, my front deck. That's kind of like a false deck, remember, so I can put my anchor holes in there. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get those nose pieces on and then we'll get to the deck. got some pieces of foam, some blue board. It's closed cell foam for insulation, one inch thick. And we're gonna put it in between these stringers right here. I got it cut to fit right in there. And then we'll put this piece of floor down on top of it and weld it in our stitches that we've already got cut. So uh, we're supposed to get that foam and the floor down and then we'll see what we can do from there. it's going to go down the side of the gun. I've got this one just set up there. I hadn't welded it on yet. But uh, basically it's like a piece of six inch channel and I cut one side out to the curvature of the boat and that's the side we'll weld to the boat. The other side still has the piece that comes down, you know, like angle. And, uh, and then up under it, I've got welded on some, uh, some tabs with three quarter inch holes drilled out that I drilled out with my step bit. And we'll push in some of those three quarter inch like marker lights, uh, LEDs, and they're gonna be green. So, uh, but it's behind that angle, so that way you'll be able to illuminate the boat without blinding you in the eye, you know, so it's not gonna be that bright to the look, but it'll light up the boat. Let's get them tacked on there. fixing to finish up the step deck transom so uh, what I did is I just took a piece of cardboard and I laid it where it was supposed to be just like this traced it out put it on my aluminum cut out the piece it's just right stuff because we're going to put the deck on the back so we're going to work on next so I did the same thing took a piece of cardboard traced it out uh, I didn't have enough long metal uh, that was eighth inch thick to be able to deck it I had some like 100 gauge but I didn't want to use that for my decks back here so many seats on it and stuff and uh, you see I put a few more braces right there 
because uh, the seats will sit there and I want to make sure I got a place to like bolt it down good and it, you know weld it and all whatever it'll be nice and sturdy so uh, the frame has been done but I did a few extra things before we weld this top on because it's gonna be hard to get to it so uh, a few things that I did I put a tube right there and uh, of course I smoothed out the inside of the edges uh, that way I'll have something to run my wires through uh, because my switch panel is going to be over there by where I drive. Uh, the battery is going to be over on this side. Uh, and then, of course, all my wires and stuff is going to run the left side of the boat. So uh, I needed to have a tube to get most everything through there. So that's what that tube's for. I welded a few hoops, like the fuel line and the battery cables going to the motor. We'll be able to keep them up, zip tie them up. Uh, a few hoops on that side. Also welded these tabs right here uh, that I drilled the holes in, just like I did uh, under the gunnels or under the side right here and uh, I'll have two more green LEDs right there over here you can see where I welded in a tube for my bilge so uh, that's an aluminum tube that goes out the side right there and then on this side I uh, scribe some lines in it with my Metabo and then I'll put that on there with some hose clamps going down to the bilge in the very back so uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I've done so far. So now we just got to put the top on. Like I said, cardboard, got it cut out, did two halves, fixing to put it on top, weld it down all the way around, and then uh, we'll work on the little piece back there that goes to the transfer. Seeds are welded up. Now we're picking the work on this little spot right here, which is over kind of the motor pod or whatever. But uh, you know, I got I got a piece back there that was welded up to fit those channel grooves that I had, I guess. And then what I've done is I bent a small piece of diamond plate. Uh, it's not one eighth. I think it's probably sixteenth. Might be hundred gauge. I don't know. But I bent it for a little spot right there. Just a nice little transition to cover that spot back there. Nothing really structural about this. Kind of maybe, I mean, I guess it adds, but it's not like we're counting on this to hold the motor up. I mean, we got, we got a lot of bracing right there anyway. So, uh, yeah, let's get this welded on and then this back will be finished up. All right, the next part of the seat is going up under the seat. And uh, what I did is, of course, I used cardboard to get the side angle over there. So I wanted to weld all the way up against the side, right up under my uh, seat. So uh, I used cardboard and just traced that out to get the right angle. And then I put it in my metal brake back there and bent it back so it goes that way, like, so it goes like up under the seat and uh, basically up 45. And did that on both sides on the uh, left side back here. I ended up cutting it a little shorter. That way I make sure I got enough room to get my battery tucked in back there behind You know the seat will be under the seat out of the way uh, So I'm gonna show you the piece I got All right, so that's it You can See this side is cut at the right angle To go up under the seat part this side is bent at a 45 to go towards the back of the transom so uh, all we gotta do is set that in there and weld it up. That's where we're gonna wrap it up for today. We got a lot accomplished, excited about how this boat's turning out. Make sure you like and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment how you think this build's going. And stay tuned because this boat is going to be floating before we know it.